Merry Christmas and welcome to a surprise day 25. My parents are still upstairs, but I went ahead and started getting the house festive for the morning. So clearly all the lights are on and everything is just looking beautiful. The garlands going up the stairs. I also have all the gifts organized. So we have Steven's pile here, some for me, stuff for my parents over here. All the candles are lit. I have Kelly Clarkson Christmas songs playing. But we are all, all ready for Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. So I have all the candles lit. This hot cocoa peppermint candle that Jen sent me is amazing. It's my favorite candle. And I often don't buy like a sweet scent and I'm obsessed with it. We have the coffee going. This um, coffee pot is the Krupp's coffee pot. We absolutely love this thing. We've had it for many years. When we have company, we'll often pull out the coffee pot and just brew a big pot of coffee. Um, this one is a great, great one and it's also super chic and pretty. Mom and I are attacking the rest of this puzzle today. Got the bubs here. What are you doing? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We tried to put a Christmas sweater on him, but he did not want anything to do with it. So hate clothes. Everything looks so cozy. I'd, I honestly would leave my decorations up for us the year. As soon as my parents wake up, we will Open the gifts. We are making some mauled cider. So I'm gonna put this on low. I'm just gonna fill up this crock pot. The Martinellis organic mauling spices. I'm probably going to add for a pot I usually do about eight of these. I will just cut the strings off of them and let them float around. What I love about getting them in these little individual tea bags is if you just want to make a mug of mulled cider, you totally can. Then I'm going to add four whole cinnamon sticks, these dried orange slices. So we need to go ahead and add four or five of these. So the orange slices, the mulling bags, and this. So I have the orange slices, the mauling spice sachets and the cinnamon sticks. I'm just gonna let that go on low for a while. What's in there? Hey, hey. He's making a pass. What is this? Oh, thank you. It's for your office. Oh, thank you. Open it. <laughs> Bubby, what is it? What is it? I'd help you, but you, you'll growl. Is there anything else in there? What else is in there? Um, I don't know if that's a wise idea. He didn't even see them. Well, you just missed an entire scene. Why are you frustrated? Because the TV did not come with the appropriate screws to mount it. It didn't come with any screws. It didn't come with any screws. So, Steven surprised me with the new 4K Samsung TV. 
However, see Bubba's is upset too. We tried to take it down, so we took down our old one. It was a fiasco. Tried to put the new one and then it came with no screws. So we're trying to figure out life. But the old TV is back up. They were completely undisturbed. We have a white Christmas playing. And now we're just getting around to breakfast and mom is making some French toast. And I'm drinking some mulled cider. It's been a really good morning. Isn't that hot cocoa candle amazing? I know, it smells good, I was gonna tell you. That's not always a fragrance I go with either and I really like it. I would have never bought it had it not been gifted to me. We asked at the grocery store for it to be cut thick and they reiterated, yes, thick. And I was like, great. It was sliced paper thin when we got it. So we had to return it. And then mom has ended up slicing it herself. I mean, by the time you would have soaked that original bread in egg, it would have just fallen apart. It was so thin, but we fixed it. The whole family's obsessing over the puzzle, but we've gotten a lot of it done. It's hard. But. <laughs> that middle section is going to be really, really tough. We thought the tree was going to be really hard, and it was for quite some time. But we're in the home stretch. Basically, we've done this puzzle in a day. Mom is in her pajamas, Dad is still in his pajamas, and I just have to admit, I am still in mine. I'm in my robe and all the things. So we skipped lunch, we worked through lunch, we had a late breakfast. Put the ham in the oven. Mom put the ham in the oven and yeah, I'm stepping away from the puzzle for a little bit. We have a bunch of trash everywhere. Um, watching some Frozen. Let it go, let it go. Bubba, you a good singer. All right, let's go ahead and open day 25. It's a huge coconut shea butter. Day 25 of Diptyque is one of their beautiful Christmas editions. It smells amazing. I've showered only to put on fresh pajamas. It's Christmas day, that's what it's about. It, puzzle update, it is going really well. I think we could finish it today. My mom and dad, made a dent in it and we've done a lot what's for dinner ham cheesy potatoes green beans almondine oh look at you fancy pants hot rolls almondine <laughs> made with love it's been a good day are you obsessing over the puzzle yeah i'm getting back to it after i eat <laughs> <laughs> we need to finish it tonight it has to be done. <laughs> we'll stay up to the wee hours of morning. You have wine? Yep. All right, it's all me. Now on the TV is Home Alone. It's probably like the ninth movie we've watched this week. So, all is well. All right, we're gonna eat some dinner. The doggies are gonna eat dinner. And then we're probably going to work on our puzzle. This has absolutely been the Christmas cocktail this year, and it is amazing. We finished dinner, it was delicious, and we're gonna work on the puzzle tonight, we're gonna watch movies, and we're gonna chill. And this officially ends Vlogmas, and it has been just a sheer, sheer joy. I have loved every minute of it. I hope you have loved it. It's kind of reinvigorated and re-inspired me. Um, and I'm just super excited to see where the channel goes in the coming year. Um, quick question though, I asked over on Instagram and it's a resounding yes, but I'd love to know what you think. Would you like me to film uh, what I got for Christmas video? I love watching them, but I've always had mixed feelings about recording one. So let me know what you think. Um, I'd love to share that with you. If it gives you gift ideas or introduces you to some new products, um, then it would be worth it. So let me know down below. I hope you have loved Vlogmas. I'd also love for you to share what was your favorite part of Vlogmas this year. And my friends, I'm going to leave it. Like I leave all of them 
take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, which I promise will be soon. Bye-bye.